Last night, I had a key insight, and that is plants are the dominant form of life on the planet, not humans. They can live without us. We cannot live without them. That's a giant indicator that they may be the dominant form of life on the planet. The other indication is what they do for us. Plants manipulate us and other animals in general to our benefit. We manipulate plants to our detriment. Example after example of this exist in nature. Coca leaves. Coca leaves are saying, hey, eat me, suck on me. I'm good for high altitude. I'll give you energy. Give it to monkeys like us and we're like, no, more, 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 more. Cocaine, drug addiction, war, poverty, crime. Tobacco. Hey, smoke me in my natural form. I'm very good for grounding. I'm very good in plant medicine ceremonies. And we're like, yeah, okay, cool. More, 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 more. Addiction, lung cancer, death, despair, misery. The cocoa fruit. Hey, eat me. I'm good. I have natural sugars. Um, I'm an antioxidant. I might even fight cancer. Eat me. And we're like, okay, monkey mind. Okay, okay, okay. More, more, more. Chocolate, obesity, death, artery cloggage. So many examples of this. Wheat is a great example. Early hunter-gatherers, maybe it was even the first example. Early hunter-gatherers, wheat was like, hey, eat me. High in carbs, high nutrition. I'm going to keep you full so you can go hunting. And we're like, mm, yeah, more, more. Domesticate live in farms, build cities, new diseases, etc, etc. That's the funny thing about wheat. We think that we domesticated wheat, whereas wheat domesticated us. The point here with all these examples, and I'm sure that you can think of many more, is that plants have evolved on this planet for hundreds of millions of years before the first multicellular organism. We kind of write them off because they're always in one spot. They're not doing anything. But actually they are. They're manipulating species that can move to do the work for them. But when the plant manipulates the species, they do it to their mutual benefit. Insects, getting nutrition, that's their benefit. And to the plant's benefit, it's allowed to propagate itself. They use the same tricks with animals. They made fruits, animals eat it, they poo it out. Animals get nutrition, the plant gets propagation. So plants are incredibly intelligent with hundreds of millions of years of evolution on top of us. And the greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing us that we are actually the dominant form of life on the planet. And one more thing to keep in mind, plants are in a constant state of meditation. From the moment they're born to the moment they die, they are rooted in one place their crown chakra is extending to the sun, and all they do is stay in the same place and manipulate the world around them energetically. Doesn't that sound familiar to what we're trying to do when we sit in the same place, root the muladhara, extend the crown to the cosmos? We're trying to be like a plant. And maybe that's a good thing. <laughs>